Good morning, gang. It's my my grab your Bible, your notebook, and your pen. And guess what chapter we're going to be studying today? <laughs> yep, you got it. Psalm 18. Now, we've finished with the verses 1 and 2, and we're going to move on, okay? Because um, there's more in this chapter, okay? So we're going we're gonna to go down to verse 16, and we're going to study verses 16 through 19 today. They are full of things, some things that we've already talked about, and some new things about God. So let's dive in. Here it is, verse 16. Are you there? Underline it. Mark it. Here it comes. He sent from above. He took me. He drew me out of many waters. Now get the picture. David is constantly talking about his life in the, in the wilderness. And he talks about, you know, he's sinking in the miry clay. He, and God picks him up and puts him on a rock. Gives him a good foundation. Here he is and he says, he drew me out of many waters. David felt like he was drowning. And God plucked him out of the water and saved him. And let's continue verse 17 it says he delivered me there he is again God is my deliverer <coughs> we've already talked about that he delivered me me from my strong enemy but he has all the power and all the authority doesn't he and from them which hated me oh people hated David yeah the king wanted to kill him so David was running and hiding Sorry, I got a frog in my throat. He was running and hiding, and God protected him from people that hated him. Did you know that there are going to be people in your life, probably, that won't like you? And it's not nice. It's not fun. It's not easy to deal with them. But God's there to protect us. And from them which hated me, for they were too strong for me. Okay, sometimes other people are stronger than us. And we don't have the strength on our own to take care of the matter. So let's see what God's going to do about it. Verse 18, they prevented me in the day of my calamity. I'm sorry. Yeah, they prevented me in the day of my calamity when I was in so much trouble. But the Lord was my stay. God is my stay. What does that mean? God is my support. It's more than just, he, he's more than just a, a, don't picture a crutch that we lean on. He is our support. He picks us up. Just like that, that verse 16, he, he drew me out of many waters. I envision God's hands under my arms just pulling me out of that water. <laughs> It's not just a crutch. We're not just leaning on him. He is all around us. He is supporting me. He is my stay. That's what David called him. So in here we find that the Lord is my stay. When we are not strong enough or when we try to do things in our own strength and we fail, God is there to pick us up out of that miry clay, to put us on a solid foundation, to pick us out of the water and to, to shake that water off of us and say, keep going, you can do this. He is my support. He's never going to let me down. Friends might, other people might, but God will always be there to support me. He is my stay. He's my support. Let's go on though, because I want I, it doesn't just end there. It says, he brought me forth also into a large place. Sometimes we feel like we're, we're squeezed into a really tight spot and we can't get out. And God brings us out into a large place that's just wonderful and peaceful and calm. And it has everything that we need in it. And it says, he brought me forth also into a large place. He delivered me. Once again, he's our deliverer. But this is the part I want you to see today. Because he delighted in me. Can God delight in you? 
He delights in us when we trust in him. He delights in us when we let him be our support. We let him take care of us instead of us trying to do things on our own, which is which is how I am most of the time. I like to do things in my own strength, but God doesn't want me to. He wants me to trust him every day. He is my support, and I have to keep reminding myself of that. But he does that. He delivers us because he delights in us. David said, he delivered me because he delighted in me. Question for you today. Is God delighting in what you do? Are you trusting him for your support? Or are you trusting your own self? We will always fail because we're human. But God never fails. Remember that today. I love you. I hope you're going to have a great day. Bye-bye.